name is Hugo Madeira and I'm a dentist. In this short video, I will share with you how I am pioneering in digital personality. Ask yourself some questions. When was the last time that you couldn't find anything on Google? And for example, when was the last time you left home without your smartphone? If technology takes over your lives, it's also normal that your lives can be mirrored in the digital context. Now we are getting to the point. And in this course, we will uh, share with you how to create your digital personality and which strategy to choose. Let's start with some key questions. Creating and manage a digital personality can be an investment worthwhile or a real waste of time. Usually the big and the core questions are the first to emerge and are the ones that we get no response. There are some questions also that come up. Why should I create my digital personality? Which energy should I put in it? Let's start with a practical example so you can understand better. Key solution drivers. The key solution drivers I've identified to set the right digital personality were the following. First, find relevant personality traits. Second, find the main content. Third, find the best communication channels. Fourth, find the target audience. And fifth, find a true engagement. The first step is to find the ideal traits to communicate in the digital world. We all have a personality with some good traits to exalt and some less good traits to omit. The benefit of creating a digital personality is that we can choose to be and show what our patients appreciate the most about us. Let's undertake a simple exercise. What do your patients most value in you? Write five things that come to your mind. Imagine you're going under a risky surgery and you can choose the personality of the surgeon. How would you describe him? We can be arrogant or friendly, accessible or distant. It's a choice. You make yours and start. The web opens a world of possibilities. We can reach all of our patients. It's up to, to each and every one of you to choose and test the best channels. First, I tested Twitter, email newsletters, Google+, LinkedIn, YouTube, etc. But I quickly realized that Facebook and Instagram were the two main platforms in Portugal. And all my efforts should be focused on these two fronts. And so my advice to you is to start at least with two digital platforms according to the context of your target. That could be or not in harmony with the, the country's culture. You'll notice that uh, there are differences between audiences in different channels, not only demographically, but also the type of content they expect to find. On Facebook, for example, I find older people with formed opinions and a greater need of qualification. On the other hand, Instagram has a younger people with higher purchasing pools. Throughout this journey of creating a digital personality, many people will not identify your content or uh, they are not, they not become followers, but among those who actually become followers, you'll find the great challenge to convert them into new patients. Here's an interesting exercise. Choose five of your best patients and fill out the following map to identify patterns of behavior and needs. You will certainly find out you can customize the communication for each of the five you have chosen. Next step will be to apply this communication not only to visible content, but also in private message. You'll get it from your patients. Social media platforms are more than just communication channels. Over, over the last years, Facebook and Instagram have developed an algorithm so that people can be penalized if they don't use the social networks. Have you ever imagined a friend you find in the street and you only answer him eight days after, when it's more, most convenient for you? The speed and the sense of proper are highly valued by our current society. Technology has shaped us this way. So answers to private messages or public comments should be immediate as possible. Believe me, you will see the difference in performance levels. Get someone who can help you on this task, someone who is very close to you and know your patients well. Mm -hmm. 
Some marketing experts say that in these days, it's becoming increasingly difficult to do marketing because of the amount of channels and information that invade us. Methods are important in the race for the economy of attention. Think of a brand like Apple, what is the first name that comes to your mind? Think of a brand like Nespresso, what is the face that you immediately think of? Brands that aim to emotionally conquer their customers have familiar faces associated with them. Digital personality is an extension of your identity applied to that contest and for the customer it is unique, authentic and achievable experience, a chance to develop stronger feelings and emotions that will never be developed for a trademark. I invite you all to visit the following profiles. Different doctors, different audiences, different market segments, different continents. They are achieving success in their search for patients due to the high exposure and notoriety they have managed to build over the past few years via digital personalities. Let's recap the key insights shared in this video. The information society has changed heavily, forcing us to catch the digital train. Whoever is off this train will lose. It's important to choose our online positioning and digital personality is an excellent model for that. After all, there is nothing better than owning the information others find about us. You must find time to dedicate to the development of a digital personality and quickly find someone to help you managing that. It's vital to find and compare patterns and current patients and followers and care about the quality and speed of social media response with the same relevance of the service provided at your clinic.